Rui Lopez opening, Berlin, El Hermit, Berlin Wall Defense, 9.NC3K810.H3. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board where it controls many important squares. d4 opens up the center, attacks the e5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Nd6 retreats the knight to a central square where it attacks the bishop on b5. Bx c6 captures the knight and forces black to double the c pawns. Dx c6 captures the bishop, opens up the d-file and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Dx e5 captures the e5 pawn, attacks the knight on d6 and controls the f6 square. Nf5 moves the knight to an active square where it controls d4. Qx d8 plus trades queens and stops black from castling. Kx d8 recaptures the queen. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nc3, which advances the knight into the center. k8 moves the king away from the open d-file. h3 controls the g4 square and prepares a potential g4 pawn push. Games master. It is the final book action. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to win a pawn. It is good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This forces the opponent to double their pawns, which weakens their pawn structure. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a bishop. It is a great move. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. A solid choice. It is excellent. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the 7th rank, activating it. It is quite good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.